coronavirus variants identified in several countries are causing alarm, just as vaccine breakthroughs were providing much-needed relief around the world. The mutations in the spike protein increases how tightly the virus binds to human cells, suggesting that the new variants may spread more easily from person to person. Viruses constantly change their mutation, and new variants of a virus are expected to occur over time. The vast majority of these mutations that occur uh, have no functional effect. They're just benign um, you know, signatures that are normal in the virus genome, but every now and then there are mutations or, or combinations of mutations constellation that, that confers some advantage to the virus. And so we need to quickly identify those particular mutations or combinations of mutations and try to get ahead of those. Officials in the UK reported a sharp increase in coronavirus cases in London and Southeast England back in November. In South Africa, a new strain contributed to a second wave of cases, infecting more younger people this time around. And in Brazil, researchers found a variant appearing as early as July. All three countries are reporting the strains are more transmissible. Officials have since detected these strains in over a dozen countries, including as far away as Australia and South Korea. And in the US, variant cases have been reported in at least 32 states, including California, Colorado, South Carolina, and Maryland while some experts warn that vaccines may be less effective against some of these variants, they still dramatically lower the chance of severe illness or death. We're seeing early evidence that suggests that there is a reduction in the efficacy of, of some of the vaccines. In particular, there's data so far from the two vaccines that are being distributed in the U.S. currently. So that's the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine and the Moderna vaccine, and also some, some data from emerging um, vaccines that are, that are, you know, we think are about to um, be approved to be used. But so far, the evidence looks like the, um, the reduction, while it's important to pay attention to it and understand it better, it doesn't look like it will render these vaccines ineffective. The same protective measures that have been used throughout the pandemic are even more critical in the face of these more transmissible strains. I think now we can see that with some of the, these variants that um, that are able to transmit more readily, uh, the risk of any um, one infection leading to more people getting infected is even higher. And so we need to kind of double down on these uh, on these interventions as long as the viruses are circulating, and in particular until we reach large-scale effective vaccination.